Hey, what's up YouTube? Dan the Fixit Man. I've got another quick video here for you. I'm gonna show you how to retract an electric parking brake on a 2016 Audi Q5. This works on many vehicles that have the electric parking brake. So on most of my videos, you'll see this little opening here. I usually just take a flathead screwdriver and just wedge it in there. You can even see it coming out here and then just pull on that which pushes the caliper piston back inside the caliper and gives us enough room for the new pads. In this case, of course, it will not move because of this electric motor. The, the electronic or electric parking brake is preventing us from being able to push that back in. Now, I did another video on a Honda CRV, similar setup. So on the, on the Honda, we just took off this connector and just put a, a battery power to the motor. And as that would turn, it would go in and then I had to turn it uh, and cycle it with the caliper wind back tool. At least that's what I thought I had to do. That's that's what I used and it worked. On this one, you don't need to spin the piston as it goes back in. You just push it or pry it in, but we do need to cycle the motor so that it retracts enough so that we can push that back in. So here's our connector and this, this plastic is pretty brittle sometimes, but if you push in with your thumb, sometimes I'll also take a little hook, like a little hook tool like this and get in underneath and just get behind the little piece of plastic right there and pop that off. And we just need to put a power source to the motor. And when I say power source, I'm just talking about a battery. This is what I've got right down here, a 12 volt battery. It's very easy to do. That's all you need, a battery and a couple jumpers. These are just some simple little connectors. Now, let me see if I can get you down here and give you a better visual of what that looks like. See, we've just got two prongs. That's all we need to do is just put two leads on there, connect one on one side, I don't even know which is positive and which is negative. I don't really think it matters because if you get the direction wrong, you can just swap it. These shields are good, but they're kind of in the way. So unfortunately I'm having to peel them back a little bit in order to get in there. And we'll just make sure that those are not touching. Let me just show you here again, put the screwdriver in there and we pull on that and we cannot get that piston to budge. Now we're gonna put power to it. And I'm just, it's just kind of arbitrary. You just usually have to guess on the vehicle. So I'm just gonna put the, uh, the one that's down on negative and the one that's up on the top on positive. And just cycle that for a second. And then let's see if that was the correct direction. Yes, it was. So you can see now we've got some movement there in the piston. And let's just do that one more time. Again, we're just gonna put our leads on the battery here. And just let that motor run for a few seconds. I don't know if that will stop eventually, but we're just gonna now push that caliper piston back in. I usually like to do just a little at a time and then just pull on this screwdriver, you know, a little bit at a time just to make sure that you can get that pushed back all the way, at least enough to make room for the new pad material. Let's do a little bit more. All right, that should be good because we were almost there. The shim's kind of coming loose there, but. Well, see, my shim's loose, but that's okay. And you're done. I mean, that's how simple that is. That's all you need, a couple little connectors. Just make sure that you don't plug anything into this end to the car, you might get some error codes. I've also done this on the Honda CRV. I think that was a 2017, but there's a video on that as well. I've got the complete video, plus I have just that little video that shows how to retract the electronic parking brake. Hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind, that does help me out. I'll get a link in the description to some of the parts and tools that I use as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.